to maybe next um, talk about that, 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 that the ways that we hold the economy and like a reconciliation economy alongside our culture and our traditional values and our, and our worldviews. And, and sometimes I think people see those as being um, in competition or conflict right. with each other. And, and that you can't have a thriving economy and still hold on to our traditional values. And, and, and I think this is our opportunity to absolutely smash that misunderstanding. Totally, and I just say, <laughs> boo to that. Yeah. <laughs> Squash it yes, right now. Yes, let's name it and, and then. And then, then, yeah, we move yeah, past yes, it yes, and good, let go of good, it. Please, right? please, Because yes. I'm not a believer in good. that they need to be in competition, that they have to be separate. Our spirituality, our, in, our own knowing, um, is has to be at the forefront now it has to be the foundation right without it we are not going to thrive in a way that we know possible sure right sure. you know um, uh, those folks that don't understand the value proposition of the indigenous economic model of right. the of the the rest of that embedded reciprocity that um in the embedded value of sustainability right that the the um the core uh, um, value of respect, you know, respect for ourselves and respect for each other, respect for the earth. That that those are the frame, those are the framing values for the indigenous economy. Absolutely. And and I often wish that for folks that that didn't understand that, um, that they would have the opportunity to come. You mentioned in your introduction um, about potlatching, mm -hmm. uh, and and it just strikes me. The level of accountability. I, I think people uh, people often don't think equate potlatch to accountability, and there's so much accountability. But there's the accountability <laughs> there, is like <laughs> right here. Yeah. <laughs> and and not all indigenous cultures in in Canada potlatch. I I, I understand no, that, but right. that but I see that um, that core value of accountability, and and where I, where I see that is in in, in the carrier territory, right. is in the exchange of money. Right. And. And like you say, it's women that we have our tzekes up, the, the female heads of our clans, um, and um, and it's the women that are in the middle of, and they're counting the, the money, and it's everything is accounted for to the penny. penny yep. And it, it, it sometimes appears chaotic, and there's dancing and singing and, and you know, smudging, and, and sometimes, you know, a, a, a naming process, and there's all of our work is happening. Yes. Um, and at the same time, there's this incredible uh, system of commerce that has Absolutely. been built on those core values of, of respect and reciprocity and mutual well-being uh, and territorial connection and, and intergenerational thinking, right. like sustainability, not in the context of one or two fiscal cycles, but in, in, it, as in you generations said, for the generation that... Right. Um, and and the accountability uh, and the attention to detail around the exchange of money and so so I also want to invite um, you know uh, uh, you know viewers and and future conversations to to really embrace um, the that narrative that this old broken narrative uh, that we have a dysfunctional relationship with money mm. is is just it's it's long overdue for not just us as indigenous leaders but non-indigenous allies to work with us to really smash that broken narrative right um, and to and to speak the truth which is that we actually have a profoundly beautiful relationship with money and we are communal thinkers and we um, value sharing for example you right. know, and, and uh, but we also are really deeply committed to accountability but it's that collective accountability